Okay, so we already have our Yale Assure Lock connected to SmartThings. We're able to connect it with Alexa. And now we are going to connect the app to our phone. So let's get that started. So now you're in the Yale Assure app. We've got our app open here. And then what we're going to do is over on the keypad, we're going to have to enter a sequence of numbers. So I'm going to click on the top where it says add new lock. Okay, you see it says key authorized at the top. And now it says enter master code, then hit the gear icon, press 8, and then press 1. So we're going to go ahead and make up the lock. clockwise direction. Time expired. And let's try that again. Actually, I'm going to actually let's turn off the Bluetooth first. Menu mode. Enter number. Programming with mobile device. Press 1 to set, set up digital key. Registered. Alright, you can see that we are now registered. And now it's trying to teach us how to do the twist and go. So let's go ahead and do that. We are done with that. And now you can see that we have a key here. And it says, first load a key by twisting your phone horizontal, then vertical. Then press the check mark on your lock keypad to complete the first unlock process. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit the X here to close that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. That's going to say key ready at the top. Go like that again. Actually, we've got to hit the kind of very light but you can almost see the numbers here and in the very bottom left corner you have the check mark so we're going to hit that check mark you can see that the numbers go in a counterclockwise direction and it just unlocked uh, must be because I already had activated my key so let's try that one more time so now just locked it and now to do the key twist. We are going to click that and then go and it just unlocked. So you do have to have the app open to use the unlock feature. Um, but now um, let's go through the settings real quick. So if we go to our settings, the gear icon at the upper top corner there. Um, you can see the name, you can change your password, you can log out of your account. Um, you got four keys remaining. Um, you can go through the twist and go stuff again here. Um, notifications, you can change that. You can also put your, I like to check all these options here. Lock and unlock 
vibrate, play unlock sounds, key ready vibrate, and key ready notification. That way you kind of get some feedback in your hand here. And that's all the settings there. Um, you also have settings for the lock. So you can go to, into your lock here. You have your lock settings. And if you go to details, it's going to tell you everything about the lock. Codes. You can actually um, say we want to add a pin code. Let's do your, uh, let's do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hit create. So now we can see that her pin code is there. You can have a whole list of pin codes here. And then what you can do is you can hit click send to lock. And that will send it to the lock rather than having to program it using this little screen and all these sequences of buttons. So, get out of that. And we also have the lock name. So let's change this to front door. Okay. And the settings here. So this is where you can change all the settings of your lock. So you can change the audio mode, the sound, how high it is, so you got high, low, silent, um, a relock time, so say once you unlock the door, you can have it relock in 30 seconds, a wrong code limit, so if someone gets, you know, five wrong codes, then they're locked out, and they won't be able to get in using any codes. Um, change the language, shut down timer, operating mode, you can put it on vacation for privacy, one touch locking, and LED indicator. Now say if we wanted to, um, let's change some of these settings here to low. settings right into the lock so you do it all by just doing a couple things here and it says lock settings updated so we know that everything has been updated all right so that's that and there's date and time that should already be set there's also history in here, so you can see every time someone unlocked a door, and we'll keep track of all of the keys that were used uh, to unlock the door. And we also have some options under the key itself. So when you click on the key, you have um, key details. And you can manage users here. You can change the color of the key. And you can remove the key too. That's pretty much all the basic settings. So it's pretty good. We've been using it for a couple weeks and it's been working good. I like how clean it looks. There's no keyhole. Um, it's very secure. You can have it automatic relock. Connect it to smart things. Connect it to Alexa so we can use it with our voice and overall this lock is very nice it matches perfectly it comes in three different colors um, very simple to use works every time you know even without using the app it's very easy to use with your hands and you can set it up with smart things so when you automatically arrive home it's going to unlock for you 
Um, we use our garage, so we don't want that, but you know, we can always you know, use smart things to control it or use the lock itself or just all different options with our voice and all that. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or have any trouble installing your lock, just leave a comment down below. I'll leave a link to all the stuff that you need in the video description. And yeah, like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Once again, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three.